the anatomy of the stomach. The stomach is the dilated part of the gut that stores food, mixes food, and helps in digestion to make the food that you consume into something called chyme. It has a capacity of 1,500 ml. It has a cardiac orifice on top and a pyloric orifice at the bottom. It has a greater curvature, which is the left border, and a lesser curvature, which is the right border. It has anterior and posterior surfaces. The parts of the stomach are the fundus on top, the body in the middle, the antrum lower down, and to the end is the pylorus. The pylorus has a pyloric sphincter, which is the muscular part, and a pyloric canal. The pyloric sphincter controls the outflow of gastric contents into the duodenum. It has an innervation from the vagi and the sympathetic plexus. The mucous membrane of the stomach is thick and is thrown into folds called rugae. Coming to the arterial supply of the stomach, the stomach gets its supply from the celiac artery which gives branches which are the left and right gastric arteries, the gastroduodenal artery which again gives a branch called the right gastroepiploic artery, the celiac artery also gives the branch called the splenic artery which gives a branch called the left gastroepiploic artery which supplies the upper part of the greater curvature of the stomach. Short gastric arteries also arise from the splenic artery, giving a supply to the upper part of the fundus. The venous drainage of the stomach is through the left and the right gastric veins, the left and right gastroepiploic veins. The gastroepiploic veins drain the outer part or the lesser or the greater curvature of the stomach while the right and left gastric veins drain the lesser curvature of the stomach. These eventually drain into the portal vein. The nerve supply. The anterior vagal trunk is anterior to the stomach and it arises from the left vagus. This gives a hepatic branch which later gives a pyloric branch for the pylorus. The posterior vagal trunk is from the right vagus. This gives a celiac branch which has sympathetic innervation from the celiac plexus as well. The lymphatic drainage. The lesser curvature of the stomach drains into left and right gastric nodes. The fundus drains into short gastric nodes. The outer curvature, which is the greater curvature of the stomach, drains, drains into left and right gastroepiploic nodes. The antrum and pylorus drains into gastroduodenal nodes. And all these nodes eventually drain into the celiac nodes. The relations of the stomach posteriorly are important. We have the transverse colon and just behind that we have the pancreas and above it the splenic artery and vein. The spleen, the right and left kidneys the right and left suprarenal glands, the inferior vena cava and portal vein, bile duct, hepatic and gastroduodenal arteries and phrenic arteries, the central tendon of the diaphragm and the diaphragm itself. The clinical significance of the stomach is that this is the region where you can get gastritis, gastric ulcers and even gastric cancer.